Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. It has been a long time since I've done a check-in, and I do need to do one because there's a couple of things going on. Fair warning, if you're watching this video, there are going to be a few things that sounds like complaint. It's gonna be a little bit of a downer, but I do need to go over some of these things just so you know where everything is at with the channel. Um, the biggest thing that is going to be changing right now is I'm going to take a little break from the subcom casts. That means other people's games that I get sent replays of and churn out videos about them. There's a couple of reasons for that. I am going to continue doing the live streams. I'm going to stream with you guys, do the multiplayer on Saturday. And if I happen to come across a really, really good game, I'll cast it in the Saturday live cast. And I'm still going to continue doing the ladder cast or some similar thing where either I'm playing with the guys and uh, do just some POV gameplay or do something like that. Um, so you're still going to be getting two subcom videos a week, just not the other two that are the replay cast. And the reasons for that are several. Um, number one, I am simply burnt out. It's been two years and I'm getting to the place where I don't feel like I'm doing a lot of these replays justice because I've seen so many matches where the exact same thing happens that it's getting a little bit monotonous and I'm having a hard time putting it forward in a good light. And I would rather take a break from it and come back refreshed later than keep doing it until I'm so sick of it that I can no longer continue. So that is one reason. The second reason is that the tools that I have for getting games to cast are not functioning correctly or relatively depleted. So the FAF client has tools built in where you can search through people's replays, either by name or by map, and then there are um, currently games that are currently running as far as live replays go and the live replays work and the replay search function works about a third of the time for me. There's a lot of names that I put in that they simply don't work for. And it's a lot of the newer players. Like I cannot search for games, um, that Zaki Zak is in. It just comes up with some totally different person it's completely unrelated information in games and then i can't search for sentence replays because all of the replays are like three months old that pop up in the search so i know a lot of people have been complaining about and discussing the fact that there's many things broken in the client and i know why a lot of stuff is broken in the client but the fact remains that it is broken and it's hard to get things together to cast when that is the case and the other thing that's making it hard is that a lot of the higher level players either aren't playing aren't playing as much or just straight up aren't submitting replays in any way shape or form in any medium i very rarely see any replays posted like the 1800 plus category and it's very difficult to find anything to do with pro players and i'm not saying that i want to cast pro players all the time but there are certain things and that you see in program pro games that you simply don't see in average Joe's and it helps break up the monotony some because you see different options, you see different play styles, that kind of thing. So it, it breathes new life into the game when you have the truly good players doing what they do, the heroic plays, the epic saves, that kind of thing. So anyway, I, I there are other reasons to, I, can't bring them to mind at the moment. Oh, also the corrupted and desynced replays. Good Lord, the corrupted and desynced replays. I have gotten, you guys have actually been really good about sending in replays and I do appreciate that. And I think that a lot of them are working on your PCs. Those of you that are uh, previewing them. But when I get that on my PC, that a lot of them desync. Some of them straight up don't open their corrupted files, which obviously those are ones that didn't get previewed because to my knowledge, a corrupted file is a corrupted file. But I've just been dealing with so many desyncs and so many replays that it kills like half of my list of games that I can cast right off the bat. So I, I'm honestly not sure how to deal with it. 
I probably have enough games where I could scrounge something together two per week or I could fill it in with other content. Um, I, I'm not sure. But the fact remains that I am relatively burnt out on Supreme Commander. I'm still interested in playing it. I've had some really fun games recently. I actually tried to record a couple, but they just didn't come out straight. It really wasn't worth watching. Um, but I the, the casting is starting to get to me just a little bit. And so I'm going to maintain my release schedule. I've got the Dawn of War series. I'm actually planning on playing Command and Conquer. It's going to be starting possibly in a week. It's probably going to be two weeks. Um, Rhapsody that you guys have seen in the podcast is going to be doing Command and Conquer with me. So we're going to be blasting through that campaign. Ought to be a load of fun. I played the first couple of missions um, trying to record them and there something was wrong with the recording. I'm not sure what. It was super stuttery. I had to take it down. But it, it was really fun to play. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. Um, and then there are some new games releasing. I think I'm going to start streaming some Overwatch um, because I haven't been in a first person shooter or an arena shooter in a very, very, very long time, probably since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I played a little bit of Battlefield 4 on the PC, but I never really got into it because I was so burnt out on war games. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of that. I am going to try to acquire a copy of Total War Warhammer. So that'll give us another epic RTS to do. And there was another game too that I was looking at that I cannot recall the name of. Anyway, so there's going to be some other stuff going on on the channel, but I want to be exceptionally clear on this point. I am not giving up Supreme Commander content for the sake of having other content. If I had the same amount of replays of the same quality without being desynced and corrupted as I had in like the first year that I was casting, I would still be plugging away doing the subcom casting and I would either not be doing so much other stuff or the other stuff would be additional. But the way things are sitting right now, I'm just having a really hard time um, finding the heart to cast. And when my heart's not in it, you guys are going to be able to tell and the content's not going to be as good. You guys aren't going to enjoy it as much because I'm not enjoying it as much. And it's just no fun for anybody. So I think it's better to take a break. Now, how long is the break going to be? I can't answer that question. Um, if everything comes back together on the client and, you know, a month, two months down the road, everything is looking great and people are back and playing, which honestly part of it is there's always dead time with Supcom in the summer. Because people are off on vacations, people are doing other things, uh, school is out, so people aren't at university, may not have as much time to game, may not have an internet connection to game with, yada, yada, yada. It's consistently that way. I've been on FAF for three years, and the summertime is always the slow time, which really weirded me out the first time, because I would have thought, oh, everybody's on break, so Subcom would be alive in the summer. That is not the case. <laughs> the best times are, you know, like in the in the early fall when school is just starting and you know, around, around the school schedule is, is when FAF really comes alive. So it may be that at the end of summer, everything picks back up again. Everything is good. FAF has found some more coders where everything is fixed and I'll jump right back into subcom casting. I will probably drop a subcom cast now and then if I come across a really good game, I'm not saying that I won't cast it. It just has to be something that piques my interest. So I, I don't know. I do not have an answer as far as that goes, which also brings up the topic of fan support and Patreon. I am, I, I've said it a million times. I don't know how to say this any differently. You can say thank you a hundred times and it seems like it just loses its punch if you repeat it. But I've said it before and I will say it again. I am eternally grateful for the guys who are helping me out on Patreon that pays for my internet connection, which allows me to stream because the internet with the upload bandwidth is ridiculously expensive, like $120 a month here um, for anything that'll let me stream in 1080p. And 
it pays for that and it pays for the subscription to some editing tools that I use and some other stuff. So the Patreon money is almost 100% tied up and reinvested into more stuff for the channel. Um, and then, of course, there's other guys that do support me outside of that through PayPal and others. So I'm not going to start listing off names because I'd be here forever. But thank you to you guys. That being said, I do completely understand that the majority of you were here originally for the subcom content. So if the subcom content is going down, I absolutely positively do not blame you if you stop supporting um, stop supporting me through those avenues. So don't worry about it. It's all good. I understand. It's just, I need, I need something new. I need something different. It's not the way that it is right now. It's not fun. So <laughs> you know how it goes. If you're not, if you're not having fun when you do it, nobody's going to be having fun watching it. So anyway, I have proceeded to ramble for approximately 11 minutes about things that are wrong and nasty business. And I wish that I had a super happy tone to leave you on, but it is what it is. Sometimes life cannot be all super shiny. So anywho, again, thank you guys for watching truly from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. As far as that goes, even a lot of the other stuff that has launched, it seems like a lot of people are enjoying Dawn of war too, even though I thought that was going to be a huge dud when it first launched and you guys are awesome for engagement too. I like talking to you, answering the comments. I do read them all. I don't necessarily answer them all because sometimes other people get to them first or whatever the reason, but it's an awesome time interacting with you guys. I hope that you'll keep watching. I'll see you around the channel. And of course in the occasional cast and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.